As referenced earlier, the PID stability and accuracy of most of the controllers are similar in all sizes. However, premium controllers such as the 3504 and the 2704 have higher accuracy to meet mil specs and life science regulations, such as 21 CFR Part 11 and heat treat regulations such as AMS 2750D and NADCAP. Inputs. In the old days, you used to have to specify what input you wanted. All urethrum temperature controllers now come with universal inputs. That means that any device with an input of 0 to 10 volts DC or 0 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 50 millivolts can be used by the urethrum controller. Urethrum controllers take every type of thermocouple and RTD manufacturer and have proper scaling and cold junction compensation that can be selected automatically. Linear inputs of 0 to 10 volt DC or 4 to 20 milliamp can be selected. When using the 4 to 20 milliamp inputs, a shunt resistor is used across the terminals to convert the 4 to 20 milliamp to a millivolt input. When configuring your therm, the calculation is done for you if you use our resistor. Several of our controllers have custom lookup tables available for non-linear inputs. The 2704 even has a logarithmic input for vacuum gauges. Bottom line is that almost any measuring device can be connected to these controllers and configured to display for any engineering unit you require. Outputs. The urethrum controllers come with five outputs. Mechanical relay, a 120 or 240 volt AC triac output, a 12 volt DC logic output, a 4 to 20 milliamp or a 0 to 10 volt DC linear output, or a valve actuator output with a slide wire feedback input. First, mechanical relay. The mechanical relay is just that, a mechanical switch that will switch 120 volts or 240 volts AC when the controller tells it to turn on. While they are very basic and simple, if your process turns on or off a lot, they will wear out. They can either fail full on or full off. Neither one of those is a good situation. Typically, they are connected to contactors or solenoid valves. The second output is a triac. A triac works the same way, but instead of being a mechanical switch, it is a solid state device. It can turn on and off thousands of times more than a mechanical relay. A DC logic output. Because of mercury now being considered hazardous waste and frowned upon by industry, many clients are now using SSRs or, so or solid state relays instead of mercury contactors or solenoids. The SSR is turned on with a 3 to 32 volt DC signal from a DC logic output. The DC logic output provides a 12 volt DC output to turn the solid state relay on and off. The solid state relay can be pulsed extremely fast, making a good choice for proportional control of heaters or solenoid valves. Linear outputs. Medium to high end urethrum controllers come with 0 to 10 volt DC or 4 to 20 milliamp linear outputs. Most of the time, these signals are used to control SCR power controllers or valves. The higher the output, the more power is applied to the load. On a few urethrum controllers, we have the ability to control an actuator using slide wire feedback. An actuator moves a damper or valve to a position. The controller needs to know where the valve is. This is done using a slide wire. Depending on the position of the actuator and a voltage drop across the resistor, the controller can tell where the valve is. There are only a few controllers made in the industry that will accept this type of output. Eurotherm is one of these companies. This option is available on the 2400, 2600, 2700 and 3500 series controllers.